Hi, I'm Princess Senate, conference producer at Technology Networks, and I am here to introduce our next talk from our Technology Spotlight sponsor, Acrobiosystems. Considerations in using GMP-grade raw materials when manufacturing cell therapies and other biologics. I am pleased to welcome Dr. Ann Yu Yang. Anne is the product manager for Acrobiosystems. With an extensive background in leading clinical trials, Anne collaborates closely with the R&D and marketing teams to provide end-to-end -end solutions addressing unmet needs in all realms of the business, including cell and therapy. A warm welcome to you, Anne. Following the presentation, we will have a Q&A session and we welcome any questions that you may have. Please ask questions using the Q&A system to the right-hand side of the video player. And without further ado, I will now hand over to Anne to begin his presentation. Good morning, everyone. It's been a, a great pleasure to be here today to uh, share some insights on what should be taken into the consideration when the uh, selecting the GMP3 raw materials, the suppliers, and uh, to support the cell therapy. And I also want to share the what ACRO has been done to ensure the safety and the quality of the GMP3 raw materials. And uh, this talk is the different to the uh, to the previous and others the webinar talks uh, the, uh, to addressing the new technology or the product development process. And, and and with the supporting data and uh, today I'm going to uh, focus on the uh, the the three different angles of the GMP through the raw materials from the quality, the bioactivity and the and the stability and this is more coming from the uh, uh, quality assurance side and uh, let's look at into the first session uh, session starting from with the why. And why use the GMP3 the raw materials? And uh, over the past decade, and uh, almost everyone understands the cell-based therapy is the one of the most popular and is one of the mo one of the revolutionary therapeutic strategies. Uh, comparing versus the traditional drug development, the cell-based drug development involved uh, tons of the biological materials. And uh, different to the pharmaceutical manufacturing, which is regulated by the FDA, these raw materials involved with the cell, cell drug development or manufacturing, they are not directly regulated by the FDA or other administrative, administrative departments. And normally they are qualified by the suppliers themselves. And uh, this figure and shows that from the three different sites, the qualified equipment was uh, with the monitored environment uh, under the robust quality management systems and uh, the well-trained personnel. And with all the three contributes to the final, the qualified raw materials. And these raw materials includes uh, the growth factors or cytokines, antibody, uh, magnetic beads, plates, medium, and these all contributes to the cell, cell torture, cell activation, the cell differentiation, and the, with several nuclease, nuclease, some enzymes to do the genetic work and do the residual removal. And the, all these qualified raw materials involved within the cell manufacturing, these are not <coughs> directly un, uh, regulated by the FDAs. However, the administrative departments, uh, they generate several different the regulatory guidances and within the different territories or regions. And, uh, and normally, you, you, can, you, can, you, know, you know, see these uh, regulatory guidances and from the FDA or from EMA or from the WHOs, and uh, they have the different names and different chapter numbers. And uh, and the, the although the the name and the numbers are different, but they share the very similar ideas and the goals behind that. And then let's look into the second part and diving deep into the GMP raw material regulations. The, it's very common to see you see the USP ninety two and USP uh, ten forty three and uh, uh, either in the FDA's website or in some of the. Uh, uh, the, the newsletters or the public in the public uh, public materials 
and uh, and the, in the EU it is the EP five point five point two point twelve, and the, these chapters on the regulations they highlight or emphasize that these qualified GMP raw materials they must meet the standards for the quality, the purity, the bioactivity level, and they should be consistent across different batches and the. They must have the specific steps to remove or prevent the contaminations, the residuals, and finally make sure that the safety and the quality meets the criteria. And um, the specifications I mentioned above, and they must be validated by a well-established methods. And these methods are normally under the ICH22, and these methods should be like if it is a quanti quantifiable measured and it must be quantification and it has the very high sensitivity and the wide dynamic range. So with the so that means the starting from the the the, the raw materials using in this manufacturing until the products release, every details and are well documented and for the review and the, to guide the advisory department, they guide or they instruct the supplier to do so. Here's the list in the more details. And starting from the during the manufacturing process, the exogenous contaminants like the bacteria, virus, and the toxins, there are special uh, uh, special instructions to define how to remove that. And should you use the animal animal or animal origin free materials, and you have the specific methods to detect the final products, the, the, the level of these bacteria, uh, virus, and endotoxic levels. And, uh, and also, the, the, that's the, so during the manufacturing process, it's the, unable to yield the 100% purity. So there will be some impurities residuals in the final product. So these could be like the host cell protein, the host cell genetic materials, some antibodies used to to support the this uh to to support the bioreactor process, and after that, the finally when the when the cytokines or those factors is ready to release, and it must be to detect the acute uh, toxicity to make sure that the the residuals and the these contaminants within the final products they won't cause any severe harm. Or the, it is safe to be used in the human beings, and uh, uh, with all of the the testing and uh, and and the quality control process has been passed, and uh, the quality assurance and the quality and the QC department, they will generate a report, and uh, <clears throat> and when is the certificate of the analysis that is the COA, and also they will have the extra documentations. To write down everything on lab notes, manufacturing notes, and, and and other supportive documents, and this is the one, the function of these documents. One is the working as the reference materials for the end user, and the other function is the using to, uh, to provide the the reference for the administrative departments or for the external audit to review. And uh, this is an. Um, this is the uh, general process uh, to do the, these manufacturings from the projections and to the, if it is the powder, so it, it must be the lyophilized and uh, the finally release. And here listed several the common methods to evaluate the purity and the structures and uh, the endotoxin level of the proteins. And uh, all these methods must be confirmed and generated or set up as the final QC plan before the real manufacturing started, and uh, and after the product is the is, uh, is made out, and it has the to has the batch testing to ensure the stability, and then generates the testing report. The, the the quality assurance and the quality control department they will have uh, several different rounds. To review the certificate of analysis, and finally, the 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 green light and approve to release these products. And the, 
the previous slides is mainly focusing on the quality and the safety of these the GMP3 raw materials. But I want to uh, add two extra key factors that should be taken into the consideration of, of in the selection of the, these raw materials. In the first, the activities. And uh, we all understand these uh, proteins or the antibodies or the mediums they are using to uh, to, to support the cell therapy. Uh, they have their specific functions to do either the cell expansion, uh, to, to differentiate the, 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 the stem cells to the immune cells, or uh, help to activate the, 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 the genetic modifying the cells. And uh, no matter how purity of these raw materials or how safety of these raw materials, if they cannot play their specific function to 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 support the cell manufacturing, and it is they are useless. So bioactivity is the another very critical part to of the cell manufacturing. And here I'm using the our the GMP three DL four. This is the first uh, off shelf the DL four GMP three in the market, and. Uh, if you look at the bottom right, the feathers, and uh, you can see we're adding the DL4 into the CD34 positive, the H HSP cells. It is successfully in differentiate the, the stem cell into the CD5 and the CD7 double positive T cell progenitors. And uh, with uh, uh, after the 14 days treatment in the feeder free system. And uh, so these data support that the material we used, they are definitely in a, a high quality and a high purity. And these cytokines, they can play their own functions to support their cell manufacturing. And uh, the next slide is the talking about consistency and the stability. I think, I think the third important factors should be taken into the considerations. And uh, we all know that the drug development is a long journey. Uh, it could be lasting from like, from 10 to even longer to the 15 years. And uh, the scientists or the, or, or, or the, or the, or the lab te 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 technicians or the manufacturing the person here, they want the raw materials they are using as the first year. Uh, to, and the performance will be the almost identical after 10 or 15 years. So that the final product of the drug will have the similar will have the almost the same or similar effectiveness, safety, and potency. And here I'm using the human IO-15 <clears throat> as the example. And see from the three different lots, the performance of the human IO-15 to stimulate the CTLL2 cells to proliferate, the performance is almost identical. And with additional the freeze and the source stability testing, and the 37 accelerated stability testing for eight for 48 hours. And these two extra data support that. These, the human IO-15 data is, uh, sorry, the cytokines, is the performance is very stable across different batches. And also it is to be used for a long time and stored for, stored for a long time and the performance won't have the significant drop. So, <clears throat> The, the previous slide is talking about three key factors I want to emphasize, the quality, the bioactivity, and the stability that should be taken into the consideration of the GMP-3 raw materials. And here I want to uh, show some, uh, uh, some contents that APRO has been done to meet these three criteria or to satisfy the previous the three key factors. The, the first is we are uh, constructing our own the GMP facilities. And uh, so starting from the design, this is especially the uh, made for the GMP productions. And then we combine with our over like 10 years, the recombinant protein expression, its experience. And the, we we have the steel up capabilities and the bioreactor to be up to 250 liters. And the, the, the facility is the GMP compliant the B plus A clean rooms design. So <laughs> the facility we meet the standards to manufacture the, the GMP3, the products, and can meet the GMP or CGMP requirements. 
And uh, this is from the six different angles that uh, from the certifications from the person here and uh, within our facility and uh, the whole company and the instruments we are using and uh, the raw materials. Uh, we have the very robust quality management system and the supplier of the vendor review and audit to make sure that the raw materials is of high standard. And we have the well-established and validated analytical method that to be employed to evaluate the final product. And also the environments, these are under the, <clears throat> they are, uh, uh, they are the, the quality assurance monitoring under the CPA and the CPPS. So we believe from the six different the, the, the sides or the angles, our GMP facility and combined with our the quality management system, we are manufacture the raw materials to meet the GMP and CGMP standards. And uh, we understand uh, when the product is released from our facility, it doesn't mean the, this is the end. The, the end is the how you can deliver these products to the end user or to our customers. So we build up the, uh, the global supplier chains and we have the four different warehouse in from Asia to Europe to the to the North American, and this will uh, minimize the risk of, uh, of variability during the shipment. So we can deliver the qualified products to our customer or to the end user or to the community as soon as possible. The, so. This is more about the facility and shipment. And for each specific GMP through raw materials, we have the fully or comprehensive documentation support. And all of them, they have the certificate of the analysis with the overall more than 16 the quality, uh, quality control standards. And additionally, all these GMP through the raw materials, they have been the FDA, the, the detailed master filed and it's under the, the DMF. And this will save, uh, save the, the time and the label for the end user and then speed up the review when they submit the, the, the drug filing to the administrative departments. And additionally, besides the DMF, and we have the extra, we call, uh, extra the regulatory supply, support files, the RSF level one or RSF level two. And these are very detailed of the manufacturing process, including the source of the raw materials, how we implement the different validate, validation methods. And these will provide the, the, the will provide the comprehensive the, the deep, comprehensive the explanation of the manufacturing whole process to support our end user or customers to answer the questions coming from the external audit. And uh, here is the overview of our the CGT solutions. And we are not just offering the GMP through cytotons or antibodies. And we, we have the specific products or services to cover each stage of the CGT development or the manufacturing. And uh, <clears throat> we have the proteins, we have the antibody, we have the labeled proteins with different fluorophobes and within our own the specific technology. And we have the different detection tests, we have beads, and in the future we will have the, the, the medium. And right now we have the extracellular matrix, the, the, the margin gel or the laminin proteins. And, the, and the, we, we try to do our best to offer the high standard, the qualified materials to meet the, 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 the customer demands or to meet the end user's demands. And if you are interested, you can find out in our website. And uh, we have we, we have a premium grade of proteins and which has the identical performance to the GMP through the materials. The only difference is the quality uh, control testing is, uh, is, is not the fully compared versus compared to the GMP grade. But this is, will provide you the seamless transition uh, if you are now in the preclinical stage and uh, the project is very promising and ready for the a manufacturing of our clinical studies using these kind of the premium three uh, products will help you to quickly build up the the the, the uh, uh, bridge the gap between the process development and the, and the manufacturing. The 
the Apple is the is the flexible and uh, transparent and easy scale up supplier. And uh, we try to delivering the affordable products and services and uh, without any compromise on the quality. And uh, we committed to the four B principles. And uh, we uh, we believe that we will we believe that we are able and we're capable to deliver the comprehensive solutions to support the cell therapy and the cell manufacturing. And uh, yeah, lastly is the take home message. And uh, we uh, with these the five questions and uh, three the, the things to keep in mind. I hope this quick thought can give you some ideas when you make the decision on the supplier uh, on, on supplier of the GMP3 the raw materials. You know what kind of the common questions should be taken into consideration, and uh, some some of the things to, to keep in mind and to start as early as possible. So to avoid the variability and change during the manufacturing process. And uh, <clears throat> well, I will see, thank you for your time and uh, thank you, and also thank you to the uh, to the event organizer, thank you for these opportunities. Uh, so please feel free to uh, scan these QR codes. And if you are interested in our GMP3 materials or non-GMP3 non -GMP3 materials, and we do have the free sample to offer, and we also have the recently we have the promotion and the, you can uh, easily upgrade to our GMP products. And uh, so happy to connect with everyone in LinkedIn or send me email directly and I'm happy to discuss uh, your uh, your demands, your concerns or your questions. Thank you so much. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today.